Hi guys, it's George from Cyprus Insight. Today I'm in the outskirts of Brodara. I'm going to visit Kevo Zoe Seaside Hotel. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Now we're on the main road. There's the main road here. That'll take you up to Ayanapa up the hill. And if you turn right, Brodara is just up the road and then Panera and Paralimni. But today we're going in Cavo Zoe. Loads of car parking spaces, guys. So if you've hired a higher car, or one of those buggies, there's loads of space. This place was refurbished a couple years ago. Look out for the video. We have been here before, it is lovely. Reception that way, pools, fitness center, pool bar. There's a little chapel and the beach up in this direction. Oh, look at this. Look at that lovely water feature. Yes, if you stand here and next to the water, it's cooler, isn't it? It's amazing, it does work. The Egyptians were right. Okay, so we're just gonna go down the little steppy slope. It's tiny little steps, it's mostly a slope. There we are. And this is the veranda. And we can see some convenient, located, comfortable chairs made of this lovely string stuff. Oh, I do like this string stuff. Isn't they lovely? And then we can see loads of bean bags with shades. There's a little pool down there. There is a slope going round the gardens. I think we should take the slope. Right, let's go down this slope, guys. Oh, I do like this slope. Look at this. It's a jungle slope. Down through the jungle slope. Round the corner. There we go. Through the bamboo. And we'll go and have a look at those wonderful bean bags with the shade four poster shaded sunbeds and this little pool let's go and have a look at the little pool shall we oh it's like a little plunge pool look at this this is lovely how about this guys a little pool here loads of bean bags all around the pool so you can feel cool more of those amazing sunbeds and shade right let's go down the next slope shall we down this slope oh under this canopy is this another pool yeah here we are oh, we've got lots of pools oh i missed that that's the shower area whoa look at that that is massive look at the size of this shower area and look over here guys another pool there we are another lovely little pool steps going down into the pool and then it drops down to yet another pool oh it's lovely and cool in here look at the gym guys it's amazing loads and loads of things you can use look at the view you get from the machines so we've seen the tiny little pool, then this lovely infinity pool, and look at the view you get if you're relaxing in the pool. That drops down to yet another pool with some more amazing views, some more canopies for shade. I do like these natural sunbeds with massive cushions. Let's see if they're squatchy. Oh, they're lovely and squatchy carry on there's four poster sunbeds here there they are more shade oh it's another terrace area well let's go out on this terrace area shall we and have a look at the third pool then we'll step down and go and have a look at that area over there the lawn and then there's a chapel as well there we are so we've got the little tiny pool at the far end then this infinity pool with amazing views that drops down to yet another infinity pool with another load of amazing views and then down to this final pool down here 
Now if I go past the big showers up the slope at the far end there we are past the beanbag pool past the gardens oh look at this flower wow show me the flower look at that that is a beautiful flower especially if you're keeping bees Look at that, put a nectar in there. Beautiful, isn't it, guys? Right, let's go down the next slope. Oh, another posh slope. Here we are, turn right. Another lawn on my right. Turn left, down we go. we we'll go towards this restaurant. Right, a couple steps down and then the slope again. Oh, that looks delish. What they got there? Club sandwich. The size of that club sandwich. So there's the salty pool bar. Massive pool bar, guys, where you can enjoy a slow beer. And there is a cool area at the back of the pool bar. There it is marvellous place to enjoy a slow beer let's go over the lawn past another beautiful area you can enjoy your lunch and a slow beer I'm not sure what this is a big funnel I think it might be an event area or weddings so you can get married underneath a funnel. That'd be interesting, wasn't it? Oh, that's a good idea. The crew thinks it's a lampshade. Oh yes, it does look like a lampshade. So there you are guys, you can get married with these beautiful views all the way round underneath your lampshade. Right, we're gonna have a little short walk to the beach, guys across this amazing lawn once i get to the end of the lawn i'm going to turn around and show you the hotel i want to see the balconies as well of course we will come back this way let's just turn around oh look at that and that amazing massive balconies we'll get a closer view of the balconies when we come back let's just go over this hickety pickety path down the hickety pickety slope and then towards the chapel and towards the beach right let's go past the chapel shall we so we've come down the hickety pickety path guys past the little chapel there's our natural coastal path look out for the videos we have been past this natural coastal path before and it is a mini beach there it is it's a little bit rocky guys look at this natural beach of course there's no sunbeds and umbrellas here you'll have to bring your own well, of course if you're staying at the hotel you can come down here and have a dip in the sea guys so if you fancy the sea this is where you'll come, the nearest point. Of course you can turn right and a little way up is a proper beach. And let me show you the proper beach because it's not too far away at all really. There's the chapel. And I walk to the proper beach and then walk straight back. And this beach really is a little gem. I'll show you what I mean in a minute when we get there guys it is a hidden little gem we are in the outskirts of Brodara Brodara is in that direction up there around the coastal path and I want to show you this lovely beach there are public sunbeds and umbrellas here again just two euros fifty an item 
and you won't believe it guys you won't believe this and it's a little gem for the winter as well if the sea's a little bit rough this is the place to come oh there's lots of people have discovered this little beach look at this it's a natural swimming pool yes guys a natural swimming pool there it is really sandy there we are lots of lots of lovely sand there's not a lifeguard at the moment and it slopes down a sandy slope into the water and look how well it's sheltered it's like a little natural harbour but with no boats it's just got a little inlet here it is on the left hand side let the fresh water in and lovely and calm and can you imagine this place if it's a little bit rough out there guys in the sea and you fancy doing a bit of swimming you fancy going to the sea and you think oh it's a little bit rough out there especially out of season you can come here guys to the natural swimming pool right so we'll work our way back towards the hotel guys what a lovely beach natural swimming pool and it's a nice walk down here guys from the hotel just find the hickety pickety path again look out for the chapel there it is straight ahead can't miss it really and of course the hotel's behind the chapel so where do we go Here we are, turn left, there's our coastal path, keep an eye on the chapel. I've only been walking for about five minutes at the most. Oh, I don't think I've been walking that long. Let me see the time. Now about two minutes guys, so two minutes to the chapel. There we are and then probably another minute or two to the hotel so should we call it three or four minutes to the hotel so if you fancy that natural swimming pool guys only three or four minutes away from the hotel up the slope so here we are joining the crew at the chapel very popular chapel to get married in We've seen many of weddings around here guys. Let's see if it's open. There we go. Oh open. Oh it's lovely and cool. Wow look at this. Natural pine ceiling. Very unusual and gold icons wow how luxurious is that Ooh. lovely chapel guys so that's St Andrew's Chapel and Mimosa Beach the little natural swimming pool let's continue back to the hotel round here around the Hickety Pickety Path there we go. We'll go across the lawn, past the lampshade. Right, look at this lawn. So soft. I'm going to make my way back to the salty pool bar, up the slopes and into the main hotel I bet your reception is lovely and cool oh there's some more of these four poster double sunbeds right on the edge of the lawn there's even onions you can sit on oh look what I've discovered 
another jungle slope. Look at this on the side of the hotel. Oh, it's not just a jungle, it's an eco garden. Now where are we? Oh, we're in the restaurant and on the terrace. Let's go inside, shall we? Oh, and it's beautiful. Wow, look at the views. What an amazing place to have your breakfast, lunch and dinner. And look at the buffet, guys, isn't it posh? We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stations. And then we've got live cooking on the back. This is where all the salad to be. Live cooking over there. All the hot stuff over here. Oh, I can imagine it would be lovely and delish. And then we've got proper coffee machines, like professional coffee machines. You just press the little button and it pours it out for you. Oh, there's not just one, there's two. Got those little coffee beans. I'm not sure what that machine does. And soup. There's a station for soup. Oh, I do like these soup bowls, don't you guys? They look like coconuts. Oh, they'd be nice in my kitchen. Let's have a look at the terrace area, shall we? Oh, this is the terrace we started off at. Oh, guys, totally lost. There we are. Look at that. So you can sit out here guys and there's a beautiful breeze out here. You don't have to sit behind the glass doors. But either way you're going to get this amazing view. It really is a little hidden gem. There's the terrace bar. I think you've been scrubbed at the moment. Ready for the evening. We're going reception. And see how cool it really is. I bet you it really is nice. Mmm, let's have a look at the food. Monday's Italian. Village Tuesday's for barbecue, Mediterranean, Mexican, Gala, Beirut. Ooh, double delish. Cyprus and Greek. Wow, I said it'd be nice, didn't I? and it is lovely and cool in here just relaxing for five minutes guys in these conveniently located comfortable benches and chairs oh look at the ceiling look look at that a hairy ceiling oh look guys we're down here at the spa and reception area Haman sauna gym wow that's all down there we've got to be a bit quiet guys people are relaxing so there's a sauna there we are the hammam bath is in there as well that's on the right hand side sauna on the left hand side guys and there's the other gym let's go and have a look there's the gym and the salon and we've been in the gym haven't we isn't that clever? Didn't realise that, did you? We could have come round here, guys, and straight into the spa. Oh, there's even a little library. There we are, loads of books to choose from. So help yourself, guys, and if you've finished with your books, you can always leave them for the other guests. Oh, one minute, guys. Happy hour. Cocktails. 5 euros and 7 euros. Oh, they also got yoga. There we are, more relaxing events going on. Wow, what an amazing hotel, guys. Really is a little gem. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.